Dear students, how do you identify what type of a strider the patient presents with? It is very easy to identify what type of a strider the patient presents with and we will be able to identify the site based on the type of strider. So there are three important types of strider that is inspiratory, biphasic and expiratory strider. So whenever a patient or a child presents with inspiratory strider, think of supraglottic airway issues. Whenever a person presents with biphasic strider, remember it is either a glottic or a subglottic pathway which is affected. And when you talk about expiratory strider, it is more often the trachea and the primary bronchus that is responsible for producing the type of strider. So what are the common causes of inspiratory strider? The most common cause of congenital cause of inspiratory strider is laryngomalacia and in adults we are looking at malignancy as one of the common causes. It can be deep neck space infections and in young children it can be epiglottitis as well. The most common causes of biphasic strider in children can be recurrent respiratory papillomatosis, it can be subglottic stenosis. The most common causes in adults are laryngeal malignancies. When we talk about expiratory strider, the disorders in the trachea and the primary bronchus, if there is a foreign body in the trachea or the bron bronchus or if there is a tracheomalacia, it can present as an expiratory strider. Any masses in the trachea or the bronchus can also produce expiratory strider.